Hello, Harry Brownlow, shoulder specialist. Today I'm going to talk about calcific tendonitis. Now, really there are two uh, main forms of calcific tendonitis. There is the acute calcific tendonitis and the chronic calcific tendonitis. I'll take them one at a time. Acute calcific tendonitis is a really horrible condition. It's one of the few conditions that affects the shoulder that comes on very, very quickly. So characteristically, you might go to bed one night feeling absolutely fine and wake up in the middle of the night in absolute agony in your shoulder. Indeed, many people take them off to take themselves off to A and E. They're so worried something awful is going on. They're in terrible pain. They feel dreadful. It's really miserable. It's right up there with the experiences of all the horrible other things like heart attacks and kidney stones and childbirth. I'm told. Uh, and people would often seek to find medical attention as quickly as possible. Now, as miserable as it is, it's actually quite easy to treat because the main issue is that there's a very intense inflammation that's come on very quickly in the shoulder surrounding a big patch of calcium within one of the tendons of the shoulder. Now, we don't know why it happens. Usually it's just bad luck. There are some known and recognised risk factors. These include things like diabetes, thyroid disease, women go through the menopause. So some people have some kind of hormonal basis for this problem, but most people don't fall into any of those categories and they just have a good dose of bad luck. So the treatment for it, well, the first thing is you want to rest it and sometimes just going in a sling is very helpful. The next thing is you want to be on anti-inflammatories. If you can tolerate it, you want to be on good strong doses of something like ibuprofen which you can buy over the counter 400 milligrams three times a day if that hasn't uh, given you problems in the past and then if that's not managing the pain and probably it isn't then you would need to be taking paracetamol too but the best treatment you can have is to have a cortisone injection in the shoulder and that works best because cortisone is a really good and powerful way of reducing inflammation in the shoulder So if you feel this is what you might be suffering from, you need to find a doctor, whether it's your own GP or a specialist like me, to have um, a cortisone injection put into your shoulder. And within a matter of a day or two, you'll find your pain has largely gone. And very quickly, over the next couple of weeks, everything will just settle itself down and you'll be absolutely fine. And the risk of you getting another dose of this is absolutely tiny. So it's one of those uncommon, but really miserable conditions, but thankfully it's relatively short last and doesn't tend to come back. Now, the other version is chronic calcific tendonitis, which is actually much more common. And in this condition, there is a patch of calcium sitting in your tendon and it's causing local irritation and inflammation. And likewise, we don't really understand why it happens and those same risk factors are true for chronic calcific tendonitis as they were for acute calcific tendonitis. Those are hormonal disturbances, but many people have no risk factor that we can identify and it's just bad luck. And it tends to cause a pain that's very characteristic of ordinary shoulder impingement. That is a discomfort felt over the top of the arm, not in the shoulder where it's actually going on, but over on the side of the arm here. And typically it causes pain when you're lifting the arm up so you're okay down here then it's really painful and then you get through the painful patch at the top of the arc you're fine but then as you come back down again it's really unpleasant and you might have to wriggle your way down to find a comfortable route of descent it can often cause quite a bit of night pain too so that when we see anyone with impingement one of the things we wonder about is is there underlying calcific tendonitis and we would usually do some kind of investigation to exclude that. Now, calcific tendonitis shows very well on x-ray, but it also shows extremely well on ultrasound. So, were we to consider that you might have calcific tendonitis, we would get one or both of those investigations, at the end of which we would be absolutely certain what the problem was and then we can have a good chat about how to manage it 
And there are, of course, options. And I'll talk through those options now. So option one is just to live with it. Just accept and understand the problem that you've got. Realise it's not terribly harmful or serious and that it's okay to carry on doing things even if they hurt because you're not going to be making yourself worse. And for some people that's all they need to know. They just need to understand that they have this problem and also to know and recognise that it will eventually go away. Now the trouble is the time frame for a natural resolution is totally unpredictable. Some people have a few months of problems and then it seems to go away. Other people it seems to grumble on for years and years. But it does always, in everybody, eventually disappear and stop causing problems. So option one is just to live with it, accept it and put up with it. Option two is to have a cortisone injection. Now this I would normally give under ultrasound control and it's very nice for dampening the inflammation associated with the calcium and within a week or so I would expect you would have notice a very good symptomatic improvement. But the injection itself is not going to cure the underlying calcific tendonitis. And it might be that once the injection wears off after several weeks or months, calcific tendonitis is still there, the body hasn't cleared it, and that your same problems recur. So for some people this is a good option, they just want to be rid of the pain and are happy to accept that the problem may or may not come back. For other people they don't really like the idea of having a an injection if it's not going to really be addressing and curing the underlying problem. And therefore there are two further options to address the underlying issue. The first is something that I myself don't do but I'm happy to refer you on to a colleague who does and this is to administer shockwave therapy. And you've probably heard of people having shockwave therapy to break up kidney stones for example that's a technology that's been around for a very long time. But now my colleague has a handheld machine which she can place over your calcific deposit and uh, she applies shockwave. And it's a treatment that has to be applied on a fairly regular basis, alternate weeks over a several week programme, at the end of which in many cases my colleague assures me that the pain goes away and the calcium disappears. The process itself, I understand, can be quite painful. And the fourth the final option is to have a keyhole operation. That means having you into hospital, giving you a general anaesthetic so that you're asleep and we put a telescope into the shoulder and we have a good and careful look around the whole of the shoulder and then we identify this calcific spot. And having identified it, we then clear it up out of the tendon and if necessary, we'll take the opportunity to fix or repair or scrape away any other bits that look slightly abnormal. You'll be able to go home on the same day, you'll be out of the sling the following day. Most people are back driving within about a week after the operation. For the first week, two, maybe even three weeks, your shoulder will be more painful than before the operation and you'll probably go through a period of regretting that you'd ever embarked on the journey of an operation, but that's normal and to be expected. But after about two or three weeks, the, um, your shoulder will start to improve and your symptoms will gradually settle down and by two or three months on after surgery your shoulder should be really good even if it's not completely perfect it'll be much better than it was before the operation and by six months I would expect you have no problems whatsoever. So that's it, calcific tendonitis, acute calcific tendonitis, really miserable, very aggressively painful but relatively short-lived and easy to treat with an injection. Chronic calcific tendonitis something that causes ongoing impingement type symptoms and there's a variety of different treatments available to you. Thank you for listening.